This video is a selection of the new and updated features we're excited to share with you from the May 2022 release. The full list of features can be found in the May 2022 version 20.22.5 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month, we're highlighting the following features. In Data Hub, learners can now upload portfolio evidence outside or otherwise not linked to a course. Manage Files now features an improved error message explaining why files with names containing invalid characters failed to upload. With new content experience, the new edit pages for lessons are now the default, allowing instructors to manage availability and due dates. SAML now allows administrators to create single sign-on buttons and links for the login page, which is available through Login Page Management. And finally, a summary of changes made for all the other features. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. In this release, the Brightspace datasets, or BDS, that capture portfolio activity, specifically the Portfolio Evidence Objects BDS and Portfolio Evidence Log BDS, now accept null values in the org unit ID column. This allows learners to upload portfolio evidence from outside a course. This feature is available to Brightspace Insights and Brightspace Core clients in all regions who have the portfolio tool enabled. To enable, ensure the Can Access Brightspace Datasets permission is enabled for administrators at the org level, and the d2l.tools.brightspace.datasets.version configuration variable is set to version 7. New and changed datasets appear the first time the dataset runs after the version update. In Manage Files, when a learner attempts to upload a file containing one or more illegal characters in the file name, the message displayed explains the reason why the upload failed. Previously, users received a generic, oops, your file could not be uploaded message. As a learner, navigate to Assignments and select an assignment. Then click the Upload button and attempt to upload an assignment with one or more invalid characters in the file name, such as a slash or backslash, a colon, an asterisk, or the like. You will see the new error message explaining why the file upload failed. The Manage Files feature implements the following PI items. D4412, improve error message for assignment submissions with bad file names. D4401, DCS invalid file notification prior to upload. And D8757, clear error message when file uploads are rejected due to illegal characters in the file name. Thank you to those who put forward these PI suggestions to implement this feature. The Manage Files feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled. In this release, the new edit pages with availability dates and due dates are now the default for new content experience lessons. The new experience is controlled by two configuration variables. Firstly, d2l.tools.content.lessonscreateexperienceopt-in now has a default value of on opt-in. Instructors who opt out are invited to share feedback with D2L. Secondly, d2l.tools.content.newExperienceDisplayDates now has a default value of on. The new content experience feature implements the following PI items. D5773, Lessons, Add Release Condition. D6000, Update Release Conditions in New Content Experience. D5896, New Content Experience Pacing Dates Doesn't Push to the Calendar. And D7323, Release Dates and Times in Content. Thank you to all those who put forward these PI suggestions to implement this feature. The New Content Experience feature is available to all clients who have lessons enabled. It is automatically enabled. However, clients who have previously overrode the default value for the two configuration variables will not have their values changed by this feature. For more details about what has changed with the new experience, refer to updates to the new content experience in Brightspace community. With this release, the SAML tool allows administrators to easily add single sign-on login buttons within the login widget, based on registered SAML identity providers. The new Login Page Management Manage Single Sign-On Buttons permission enables the visibility of the Single Sign-On Buttons card within the Login Page Management Admin tool. To enable setup of Single Sign-On Buttons or Links, first navigate to Admin Tools, 
Roles and Permissions, and select the desired role. Under Login Page Management, check the box for Manage Single Sign-On Buttons. Then, click Save and Close. Now navigate to Admin Tools, Login Page Management. Under Advanced Settings, create your Single Sign-On Buttons. Once complete, you can drag and drop the available Single Sign-In Buttons to change their order. Options to affect how the button or link looks can be found under the Display Options button. Click this to open the Visibility dialog. You can edit the text, text color, and button color in this dialog. A warning appears if the button does not meet WCAG accessibility guidelines, for example having a light colored text with a light color button. Once complete, click Proceed. Once you have saved and published your single sign-on buttons or links, they will be available on the login page. Click the button to log in using single sign-on. This feature is available to all clients. To enable, ensure that Login Page Management Manage Login Page and Login Page Management Manage Single Sign-On Buttons permissions are granted to the appropriate user roles. In addition, ensure that you have registered at least one identity provider. This feature has the following accessibility impacts. WCAG 2.1 Success Criterion 1.4.3 Contrast Minimum. Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. Ensuring that your audio and video files can be played in all browsers with audio-video, manual transcoding option to optimize video files. Audio-video, Media Player now uses the Download Content Topics permission, allows for greater control over who can download media files. Awards. Awards task excludes evaluating non-learner roles, means that only users with the role setting Display This Role in the Class List enabled are shown. Brightspace Learning Environment. Updated default font and color stylings for improved accessibility brings the learning environment in line with the WCAG guidelines. You can now direct a message in Pulse to a learner or group of learners with Brightspace Pulse and an at mention push notifications. Brightspace Pulse now features improved consistency between the alerts bell and updates and subscriptions tab with Brightspace Pulse. Updates and subscriptions now align with all update subscription alerts in Brightspace. Download CSV reports and clearer heading information as part of the Bulk Admin Tools improvements to Bulk User Management administrative workflows. Capture. End of life and service for Brightspace Capture Station hardware means that Capture hardware will no longer be supported by D2L. Data Hub, local authentication security log Brightspace dataset, allows you to confirm which users are configured for two-factor authentication. While Data Hub, Outcomes Rubric Alignments Brightspace dataset captures all historical alignments created from June 2021 onward. Institutions can now determine which users are using the Brightspace Parent and Guardian app with Data Hub. System Access Log dataset now includes Brightspace Parent and Guardian app access. Brightspace Editor's Improved Context Link menu supports previewing of quick links that contain replace strings. Shared Files has been renamed to Public Files, improving security by making clear to users that files in this area are accessible by anyone. In New Content Experience, SCORM grades copy correctly when changing grade item association, consistent with legacy content behavior. Rubrics in Brightspace Portfolio now use Brightspace Editor, providing consistency with other rubrics experiences. With SCORM, improve completion messaging to avoid confusion in SCORM embedded experience, this activity is complete message displays upon completion of a SCORM item. 
And finally, SCORM Legacy SCORM Player no longer renders advanced HTML elements within the SCORM Player sidebar, prevents unexpected behavior, and or broken images. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the May 2022 version 20.22.5 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!